So children, today we will be studying the ambition using the dried seed or raisins. But uh, I have brought raisins instead of seeds. And this experiment comes under demonstration experiment, which is third number experiment. The aim of the experiment is to study the ambition using the seeds or the raisins. So I already showed that we are using raisin. For this we will be requiring water and some raisin seeds. So take raisins and put it in the beaker. Already water is there in the beaker. And keep it for some hours. And after some hours we will see the change in the raisins. After few hours you can see the raisins have swollen. I will put it in the petri dish. The raisins have become target. The water from outside has entered into the grapes. And this raisins are known as target raisins. Children now we will be studying discussing the question answers which are given in a practical book related to the experiment demonstration experiment number three to study the ambition using seeds or raisin you have seen in the video we have used raisins so the first question is what is ambition the answer is absorption of one substance by another in particular the uptake of water by a plant or seed. The plant or a seed takes up the water and swells. Imbition is a type of diffusion where the water is absorbed by solid particles called colloids causing an enormous increase in volume. The solution is formed in the process. In other words, water absorption by colloid is known as imbition. Colloids are hydrophilic in nature. Hydrophilic means it loves water. Here, the solid substance are referred to as imbibens and the imbibe liquid is referred to as imbibate. Now, we have used raisins and water. So, the raisins are imbibens which are solid and the liquid is imbibate. And here one example, two examples are given absorption of water by seed or absorption of water by dry wood dry wood would be imbibate and the water would be uh, dry wood would be imbibent and water will be imbibate here seed will be imbibent and water which enters in the seed will be imbibate now the next question is Distinguish between ambition and diffusion. Distinguish between ambition and diffusion. Ambition, it refers to the absorption of water by general surface. And diffusion refers to the movement of molecule, ions of solid, liquid or gases from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. Imbition takes place both in living and dead cells and diffusion takes place in solid, liquid and gases. It is, imbition is a reversible process and diffusion is not a reversible process. We will go to the third question. What will be the result if fresh grapes fruit are dipped for some time in strong salt solution? So the answer is grape will shrink. The grapes are going to shrink. Now what exactly happens if a fresh, fresh grape is kept inside concentrated salt water? or hypertonic solution. Hypertonic means the concentration of salt is more in the water. Water would move across its concentration gradient. In this case, 
the salt water is highly concentrated it is obvious that water concentration is higher in the grape than the surrounding salt solution hence to bring about the balance of water move from the region of higher concentration that is from inside the grape to that of its lower concentration that is surrounding solution this will result in shrinkage of grapes now the next question define and explain exosmosis and endosmosis what is exosmosis exosmosis is the movement of water from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration here movement of water from the area of high concentration to a area of low concentration this can happen through a semi permeable membrane which allows water to pass but not solute when this happens the water creates pressure on the side with the higher concentration and this pressure is called osmotic pressure examples are the movement of water out of the cell when surrounding solution has a lower concentration of solute and the movement of water out of the bacteria when the surrounding solution has a lower concentration of solute when a cell is placed in a hypotonic solution the water moves out of the cell and the cell becomes flaccid this movement of water out of the cell is known as exosmosis this happens because the solute concentration of the surrounding solution is higher than that inside the cytoplasm now here we have performed the experiment with the raisin raisins have swollen they have become turgid because of absorption of water but this example is what exosmosis where the water is leaving the cell so the cell become flaccid here you can see one picture of shriveled rbc water leaves due to exosmosis what here is another example of plasmolyzed plas plant cell plasma membrane this is the plasma membrane it has drawn away from the cell wall this is the cell wall and water leaves due to exosmosis this is one picture to explain the exosmosis another is endo endosmosis definition endosmosis is the movement of water across a semi permeable membrane into a region of higher solute concentration in other word it is when water flows from an area of low solute concentration to the area of high solute concentration that is of raisins only water is having less solute but raisins are having more solute so water is moving from less solute to the higher solute concentration in the raisin there is higher solute so this can happen when two solutions are separated by a semi permeable membrane and the solution with higher solute concentration surrounds the solution with the lower solute concentration when a cell is placed in a hypotonic solution water is a hypotonic solution the water will move inside a cell and the cell will swell this movement of water inside a cell is known as endosmosis this happens because the solute concentration of the surrounding solution is less than that inside the cytoplasm here there are there is a picture of a lysed rbc the water enters and the cell becomes turgid this is the turgid plant cell water enters by endosmosis and it has become turgid see this cell and at the top which you have seen before the plasma membrane is more near to the cell wall whereas in this picture plasma membrane is away from the cell wall this is not needed to draw in your practical book but for your idea to become clear i have i am showing these two pictures here are the raisins which are soaked and they have become swollen or turgid which you have actually seen by the practical and this these are the grapes which are fresh if we you, you can do this at home also you take some grapes and put it in the glass and uh, first take salt water 
put one spoon of salt or two spoon of salt in the water and put the dry, uh, grapes fresh grapes and see after few hours the grapes which are round they will become flaccid they will shrink because of the movement of water from inside of the grape outside that is exhaust process fifth question is give any two example of ambition in day to day life two example of ambition are as follows absorption of water by the seed another is absorption of water by dry wood absorption of water by dry by seeds in everyone's home mother must be soaking the seeds overnight and morning she must be using to cook the dishes that is seen every day in every day lifestyle and absorption of water by by dry wood doors and all becomes uh, very difficult to close during rainy season because of absorption or because of imbation also children the link of the pdf is available in description if you want to take down notes for your journal thank you children for watching this please subscribe if you have not subscribed and like thank you